I am very proud to run the oldest company in the nation. Indiana Meniers was settled in Indianapolis. The reason why we had here in special in the state of Indiana the best white oak and the best walnut in the world. But we still have good resources for white oak and walnut. Other species like red oak and sherry and maple coming from the east, mainly Pennsylvania, New York State and some surrounding states. We like to demonstrate to you today the production of hardwood veneer. The foremost important thing for us is the procurement of logs. So everything that goes on out here in the field is a basic ingredients that we need to make fine hardwood veneer. Only taking most care and most time to find the right logs, we are able to serve our customer the fine veneer that they demand for their production and for their customers. As the logs arrive in our log yard, take them and inventory them with a barcode system that we trace all the way through our production process. The logs then move to the sawmill to continue their journey to become world-class veneers. The next step is the debarking process of the logs in preparation to be cut. Prior to cutting, Peter or Werner Lorenz are on hand to make sure the precise cuts are made to ensure the logs integrity for the next phase of production. These cuts are called flitches and are bundled together for the cooking process which has taken years to fine tune. The exact temperature and time are key for both the look of the wood and breaking down the wood fibers for more ease of cutting at the slicers. After the cooking process, further preparation is needed to prepare the logs for the slicers. Every little piece of dirt or bits of rock could be damaging to the knives on the slicers. Time and care is taken with each log to prepare them for the cutting process. Before reaching the slicers, logs go through a double-headed planer to ensure proper fit on the slicing machines. As the flitch moves to the slicers, it is held in place by a vacuum system during the slicing process. Once the cutting process begins, the beautiful color and structure of the veneer is revealed. The barcoding system continues to follow the log through the production process, tracking each log from the log yard to finished product. The next phase of veneer production is the drying or curing of the fiber. There is still moisture left in the veneer from the cooking and slicing process, and it is critical to watch this phase closely to make sure the wood does not dry too quickly, damaging the fibers and lowering the quality of the final veneer product. Too much moisture will cause problems with the gluing process at the customer's end. And not enough moisture will cause the veneer to be brittle and buckle. The veneer then moves to the clipping line. Here the veneer is cut to size specifications and clipping out defects to maximize the yield. After several phases in the clipping process, the veneer is then restacked before moving to the warehouse. Indiana Veneers operates with a green philosophy, having installed energy efficient lighting in the manufacturing area, extensive solar panel system on the roof to conserve energy, and a furnace boiler system fueled by wood not used in the manufacturing process. Scraps from cutting are used to provide heat for the cooking process and steam for the drying process of production. Indiana Veneers is FSC certified. Indiana Veneers has extensive warehouse space for the variety of veneer products manufactured. Cherry veneer products are wrapped with a dark wrapping to prevent discoloration from natural sunlight. It is critical to maintain customer inventory so when the demand arises, product is ready to be shipped to the client's location. Each hardwood species offers a variety of natural patterns for that unique architectural look. Like fingerprints, no two trees are exactly alike. Indiana Veneers manufactures and delivers high quality hardwood veneer products with the best service available. The Road to Perfect Veneer Indiana Veneers.